The most controversial thing I bought at a farmer's market. I feel like people who do farmer's market hauls, uh, they literally are just like, oh, here's my food, see ya. And they like leave. We're like just left with like a, a video of them like, oh, look what I bought. Uh, and we're like, okay. Not today. Not this week. This week, I'm gonna be showing you the meals in action. This, oh, by the way, I would have gotten a million more things, uh, but I don't live in a thriving state like California where their farmer's market is like a whole town worth of like stuff, right? Like mine is from like a small town and we're like literally going around the corner um, and it's just like a sidewalk. Okay, um, I'm Nagin. Oh my God, I forgot to even ask. Are you subscribed? Like, honest to God. If you're not subscribed in particular, you. I'm about to quit my entire career. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's get into, I have to really speed this video up on the produce section uh, because I have to shove it back into the fridge. Turn up. wide lens camera. Gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna have to show you with my bare hands the things that I got. Um, let's start off with, um, well, pickles. No, do I need to say more on that one? I got a jar of pickles. What is there to say? This guy was like, I was like, are these ready to eat? Which was a great question, because he was like, oh, we put these in seven days ago. So he said on Tuesday, they, whatever, it's gonna be ready in a couple days. Why am I giving you this like whole backstory of this pickle jar? No one cares. They look extremely crunchy. I'm looking for a deep crunch. I need my eardrums to pop from <laughs> the crunch of a cuke. I love my cukes. Is that a slang word? <laughs> Watch me like get involved with like gang life because I'm using like a shortened version of a cucumber. Next up, I'm a hoe for lettuce. Bring me some lettuce, I'm a hoe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this video is gonna get flagged in some way, shape or form. I got um, lettuce. I, oh my God, there's something, okay. I dated a guy once, <laughs> once. I once dated a guy, we went to his relative's farm for a couple days, long story. They literally had lettuce growing in the garden. They're like, oh, let's go pick some lettuce from the garden and let's make a salad. It was incredible, incredible. Um, and that's, I was triggered. I was like, I want that. Also, I got, Turn up. I got a turnip. These are sweet turnips, which is, I'm getting this information from the man at the farmer's market. And these are a little bit sweeter, which means you can actually just have it raw um, and put it in your salad. Here's the thing. I like to digest properly. Did I trigger anyone on that one? I just, my stomach issues, we're really having a problem here. We're a little bit too bloated. This literally could be a maternity shoot. I'm just kidding. It's a lot happening. I'm a little bloated. Anyway, um, digestive issues. I just want to boil the turnips. Oh my God, have you ever done that before? Boil turnips, cut it in half, a little bit of salt and pepper. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then if the greens were good enough, I could cook something with the greens. But these look absolutely beautiful. Do they not? I don't know. Can you believe the haul is almost done? I showed you like three things and I'm like, um, <laughs> I'm literally like grasping for something else. I'm like, uh, have I showed you the cucumbers? Pickles. The most controversial thing I bought at a farmer's market. Chicken liver. But anyway, I have chicken liver, um, ethically sourced. So don't come at me. Chicken liver is incredible for you. Today's word of the day is incredible. Here are some properties that chicken liver has and it's even better whenever you get it sourced ethically um, and from a farm. I need to put this in the fridge actually like immediately, but um, basically this is what it looks like and it's these little chunks. Okay, I know some of you are grossed out. Hold on one second. The reason why I love chicken liver so much is because in Iran, they have chicken liver and it's called jigar, and it's literally on a stick. It is liver on a stick. It has been roasted and um, over a fire. Oh my God, it is so, if you're a Persian, Iranian, Middle Eastern, and you know jigar, it is incredible. The next thing I got is grouper. They ran out of salmon. I wanted to have like an Emily Marico moment, but 
but um, not today. So I've never cooked grouper. Have you? I'm <laughs> just like, have you? I've never cooked grouper, um, but the woman was, I was like, okay, I typically cook with salmon. What do I do? She's like, oh, you should try grouper. And I was like, okay. It says it's wild caught and it's from the Gulf of Mexico. It looks really good. I'm kind of pumped. And it's gonna be good for just a couple days. Okay, last but not least, I got, you know, if you know me, if you've seen any of my earlier videos, you know I love a good whole chicken. One, you have so many leftovers. Two, it is just incredible. I got a whole chicken. It, you don't really need to see it that clearly because it's literally just a whole chicken, but it looks like it's been vacuum sealed and I can have this for about, like, I can eat this in a couple days. Like, that's how good it is. And the guy was like, this is so good for you. This is going to be so much better than, like, a Whole Foods chicken. I think that it's really important to get, like, ethically sourced protein if you can. It's so expensive. Honest to God. I'm not going to sit here and say that I do that. But um, I'm going to feel a lot better eating this one uh, because I know that, I don't know. It just feels a lot better to me. Okay guys, well, I'm gonna close out the video here because I feel like I'll forget later on. But thank you for watching my farmer's market haul. I am going to transition into some holiday-esque videos. If there's any type of like holiday, um, seasonal type of like living alone videos or anything that you can think of that you know would be right into my niche, let a ho know, comment it below. Um, I love you guys. Please make sure you're following me on Instagram and make sure that you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.